Okay, question number seven. Right. A ball moving horizontally strikes a vertical wall. Strikes a vertical wall. Remember, mg is given here, but it is moving in this direction. The ball rebounds horizontally. It goes here, it hits here, and it comes like this. The mass of the ball is m. Okay. Change in magnitude of the ball is delta p. Okay. What is the magnitude of the impulse acting on the wall due to the ball? See, impulse and change momentum are same. Okay. Now, first let us read the option mg plus delta p. See, this is force. This is change in momentum. Can we equate this to? Can we add this to? You cannot add according to the physics principles. So, you cannot add units. You cannot add physical quantities which are having two different units. So, this option is definitely incorrect. mg minus delta p with the same token. This is also incorrect. Now, 2 delta p. What is 2 delta p? Which means it goes, it hits here and comes back. This has mv. This has minus mv. If you consider like this, and now what does it say? So if I take the difference between these two, it is it says impulse. What do you mean by impulse? Impulse is nothing but it tells you what is the change in momentum. Okay. So here when I take something like this, we do not know whether velocities are same, velocities are different, nothing is clear to us. Okay. If I take velocities are same, then might be you get two times MVO here, but it does not dictate your delta P, right? MV is not delta P over here, right? Okay, because it doesn't say that uh, v here the velocity is v here it is zero i cannot do something like this so therefore this is also incorrect the only correct answer is d over here 